Today, we're going to start talking about one of the ways that we think, write, and communicate as scientists. You may have seen it before, but there's going to be some particulars to what we're doing. We're looking at claim, evidence, and reasoning as our tool for that this year. Well, one is going to win the race because it has a faster zero to 60 time and it has better handling. This race is on a curvy track, so handling is going to be important and being able to accelerate quickly is going to let car one get in front of and stay in front of the other cars. No, car two is going to win because it's blue and blue is a faster color. Also, Sarah Danger's driving it. That's my friend's girlfriend, and he wouldn't date somebody that loses races. We just saw blue and green have an argument. One of them was being pretty scientific. The other one, not so much. But when we're having an argument or a discussion in science, we try to use at least three parts. A claim, the evidence for that claim, and the reasoning that connects that claim and evidence together. A claim is a statement that answers a question, says something that you want to support is true, or offers a solution to a problem. For instance, blue and green were saying either car one will win the race or car two will win the race. Evidence is the support for that claim. It's the proof that you have that your idea is correct or at least worth thinking about. For example, green had the evidence that car one had a zero to 60 time of 3.1 seconds and better handling around curves. Blue had the evidence that he liked the driver and he thought that blue cars are faster cars. If we look back at that evidence that they were looking at, we can see that neither of them used everything and you won't always use all the information that you have available. It's up to you to decide first what evidence is true, then what evidence is important. Then you're going to use reasoning to tie your claim and evidence together. This answers the question, why does this evidence matter? For example, the track is curvy, so the handling of a car matters. How fast the car accelerates is important to going the fastest and staying ahead of other racers. Therefore, the quickest car with the best handling is likely to win the race. That sounds like something one of our characters said. When you put all of these together, we call it CER. Here's a claim evidence reasoning statement in a paragraph form. You're going to write each part individually right now, but this is a good claim evidence reasoning statement. This car is likely to win the race. It has the best handling time and a 0 to 60 time of 3.1 seconds. The track is curvy, so handling is important for this race. A fast 0 to 60 time shows the car has quick acceleration, so it's more likely to get ahead of the other racers and win the race. I was right, car 2 won the race. Where's your claim evidence and reasoning now? Well, you did end up being right. But my claim evidence reasoning did not work. We just got new evidence. We got to actually watch the race, and we got the evidence that car two won. Now, maybe it was the difference in the drivers, although I kind of doubt it was for the reason that you said. But sometimes you can do everything right, and you're still going to get the wrong answer. It's your job as a scientist not to be right in the first place, but to use that as an opportunity to learn. You're going to look back and see if there's new evidence, maybe there was a problem with your reasoning, and you're going to adjust your claim. That's what scientists do. Change our minds 